Welcome to StoryFlix. In this video, we will explain my best summer. This movie tells the story of an ordinary girl before starting the best high school in the province. However, she doesn't like her time there until she meets a smart boy. Together, their names make up word Zheng Zheng Yu Huai, meaning unforgettable memories. Will their story last long and become a story that will not be forgotten? Let's find out in my best summer. <laughs> My best summer begins by showing a high school girl named Zheng Zheng. Zheng Zheng is a cute girl who comes from a simple family. Although not very smart, but she managed to pass the entrance exam at one of the best high schools in the city, namely Zhenhua High School. Zheng Zheng was very happy when she found out that she had made it into the high school. Especially after learning that her childhood friend, a girl named Jian, was also accepted into Zhenhua High. She was very happy because she could meet her best friend again. Zheng Zheng, who is petite, seems to have difficulty finding her name when she checks the class division on the school notice board because the students crowd in front of her. At the same time, a tall young man standing next to her seemed to be laughing when he read the list of names of the students in the class division. Zheng Zheng then asked why he was laughing. He replied that the name next to his name was Zheng Zheng, and if their names were combined it would become Zheng Yu Huai Zheng, which means unforgettable memories. Hearing this, Zheng Zheng realized that the tall youth was called Yu Huai and asked to confirm. He then confirmed, and Zheng Zheng then told him that she was Zheng Zheng. Yu Huai looked happy when he found out that the cute girl next to him was Zheng Zheng. Yu Huai then reached out, inviting Zheng Zheng to shake hands because they would be classmates. However, before Zheng Zheng had time to welcome his outstretched hand, Yan came and grabbed her arm, taking her away from there. Jian and Zheng Zheng turn out to be classmates, and Jian then introduces Zheng Zheng to a girl named Bei Ta, who is also their classmate. The three immediately became familiar with each other. After the students entered the class, their homeroom teacher, Mr. Zhang then entered the classroom and introduced himself. Because this was the first time Mr. Zhang became the homeroom teacher, he seemed a little nervous. Mr. Zhang then asked the students to sit with whoever they wanted. Zheng Zheng intends to ask Jian to be her seatmate, but Jian chooses to sit at the seat with a handsome young man who is her target. Zheng Zheng finally stays in her seat and gets a seatmate she doesn't know. Not long after, Yu Huai suddenly told Mr. Zhang, said he wanted to sit at the same table with Zheng Zheng. Suddenly the students cheered because of Yu Huai's outspoken words asking Zheng Zheng to be his seatmate. Mr. Zhang then left the decision to Zheng Zheng as to whether she would be willing to sit in the back with Yu Huai. Feeling bad for Yu Huai, Zheng Zheng finally agreed to move back and become his seatmate. The next day, while having a ceremony on the school grounds, Zheng Zheng heard a rumor that the senior student who was delivering a speech in front of the students and the teacher council was one of the smartest and most popular students in the school. Bei Ta and Jian then tell Zheng Zheng that Yu Huai is also a smart student because he has won the inter-school physics olympiad. However, Zheng Zheng doubted that because Yu Huai slept more during class hours and was often punished by the teachers. Yu Huai reasoned that if he understood what the teachers were teaching in front of the class, he would feel bored and fall asleep. But if he doesn't understand the lesson, then he will pay attention to the teacher's explanation until he really understands. As time went on, Zheng Zheng always felt annoyed with Yu Huai because he used to mock her and never helped her study at all, even though he was a smart student. Yu Huai had also openly said that Zheng Zheng was not a smart student and was just lucky to get into Zhenhua's school. Because of that, Zheng Zheng intended to switch seats with another student as long as she no longer sat with Yu Huai. Zheng Zheng does not deny that Yu Huai is a handsome young man and is very cool when he plays basketball. Yan and Bei Ta often tease Zheng Zheng by saying that she is actually interested in Yu Huai and doesn't really want to change seats. Realizing that getting into Zhenhua High School is pure luck, Zheng Zheng also prefers to do her photography hobby. One day, when Yu Huai was playing, Zheng Zheng meant to take a picture of him when he was about to put the ball into the ring. However, the flash from Zheng Zheng's camera messed up Yu Huai's focus instead, so he failed to score. Angrily, Yu Huai asked who had flashed the camera flash at him. Zheng Zheng immediately left before he found out what she had done. Even so, Yu Huai finds out that it was Zheng Zheng's doing and urges her to apologize to him. Yu Huai then grabbed Zheng Zheng's camera, then took a picture of himself and took a photo with Zheng Zheng alone. Yu Huai was also very considerate of Zheng Zheng, 
he treated her wound when Zheng Zheng fell off her bicycle, drove Zheng Zheng home, and helped her study to get good grades. One day, Yu Huai missed school for two days and Zheng Zheng was so worried. Yu Huai had pranked Zheng Zheng by disguised as his mother and said he was sick. But after learning that Zheng Zheng was so worried about him, Yu Huai finally revealed that he was taking part in the physics olympiad, so he didn't go to school for two days. After that, Yu Huai seemed irritated at Zheng Zheng because of an unwanted incident. They did not speak for several days and became awkward with each other. Even so, Yu Huai still cares about Zheng Zheng and tries to help her study in class. Knowing that Zheng Zheng had difficulty in mathematics, Yu Huai then raised his hand and asked the mathematics teacher to repeat the explanation so that Zheng Zheng and other students could fully understand the lesson. After Zheng Zheng apologized to Yu Huai and begged him to keep helping her study, they finally made up. Yu Huai looked happy when he read the apology letter from Zheng Zheng. He then told Zheng Zheng that from now on, she could tell him directly if she needed help in studying. Not long after, Zhenhua High School will hold an interclass choir competition, where all students will participate in the competition. However, the students in Zheng Zheng and Yu Huai's class did not sound harmonious when singing, so they felt pessimistic about winning the competition. Once, a student was desperate to sing while playing guitar in the field when it was raining. The student did this reckless act because he wanted to express his love for a girl who was also a student at the school. Security officers immediately intervened to secure the student. But then, Yu Huai came and helped him to calm down. During the choir competition, Yu Huai sings solo on stage. However, for some reason, Zheng Zheng feels that Yu Huai is expressing his love for someone through the song he sings, because he sings it with all his heart. Even though they did not win, Zheng Zheng and her classmates could sing quite well and received appreciation from their homeroom teacher. When choosing a major ahead of their second year in high school, Zheng Zheng was undecided about choosing a major. Judging from her intelligence, Zheng Zheng felt that she would not be able to enter the science major because it was quite difficult. But on the other hand, she doesn't want to be separated from Yu Huai, who has definitely entered the science major because he is a smart student. When Zheng Zheng didn't show up in class, Yu Huai and his classmates thought that she had chosen social studies major, so she didn't come to the class. But then, Zheng Zheng entered the classroom with her hair ponytailed back, which made her look very cute, and sat down in her place, next to Yu Huai. Zheng Zheng tells Yu Huai to be her classmate forever, and since she decides to major in science, she asks Yu Huai to help her study for the upcoming exam. Yu Huai smiled hearing that. Although Yu Huai didn't necessarily agree with Zheng Zheng's request, but his sincere smile made Zheng Zheng feel relieved and confident in her choice. Since then, Zheng Zheng has spent most of her time studying with Yu Huai so that she can graduate with good grades and be accepted at the university she wants. Her father was surprised to see the changes in his daughter who became active in studying. Zheng Zheng and Yu Huai then planted a tree where they hoped that their wish would be granted when the tree grew big. Before leaving, Zheng Zheng had carved her name and Yu Huai's name on the tree trunk as a keepsake. A few days before the university entrance exam, Yu Huai drove Zheng Zheng home, where Zheng Zheng then tattooed a talisman on Yu Huai's arm using a marker so that he could take the exam and successfully pass. Yu Huai had wanted to say something serious to Zheng Zheng, but he couldn't. He just said, good luck and asked Zheng Zheng to meet him in front of the school gates when the announcement of the exam results came out. However, on the appointed day, Yu Huai did not appear at all at the place he had promised. Zheng Zheng waited there for a long time and tried to contact him, but he still didn't come or give news. Yu Huai seemed to just disappear. Long story short, seven years have passed since that day. Zheng Zheng has now graduated from college and is a photographer by profession. She now has a successful career and quite a lot of income. Zheng Zheng is also still good friends with Jian and Bei Ta and occasionally meets her friends from high school but never meets Yu Huai. Although she had tried to find Yu Huai's whereabouts, but her efforts were fruitless, until one day, she received news that Yu Huai had moved to the United States after graduating from school. One day, during a high school reunion, Yu Huai suddenly came to the event and shocked everyone. When they sat down together, Zheng Zheng then asked for an explanation regarding Yu Huai's departure to the United States which was so sudden and had not told her in years. 
The lucky charm that Zhang Zheng had painted on Yu Hui's arm turned out to be a permanent tattoo by him, indicating that he likes Zhang Zheng, even though he denies it. When Zhang Zheng asked about what Yu Hui wanted to talk about after they graduated, he said he didn't remember and asked her to forget it. Feeling heartbroken, Zhang Zheng decides to forget about Yu Hui, her first love. But then, Zhang Zheng finally learns a secret about Yu Hui who apparently never went to the United States, even though he managed to get a full scholarship at one of the best universities there. After the university entrance exam, Yu Hui's mother fell ill and had to undergo intensive care. He kept it a secret from everyone, including Zheng Zheng. Yu Hui had to sell his house and work hard to pay for his mother's medical expenses and also take care of her every day. Even so, he never forgot Zheng Zheng and always watched her from a distance. After knowing Zheng Zheng had realized her dream and become a successful career woman, he felt very happy. But on the other hand, he felt embarrassed to meet her because he was a nobody. After learning the truth, Zheng Zheng rushed to find Yu Hui at the hospital where his mother was being treated. But it turns out that Yu Hui's mother has been allowed to go home by the doctor. Zheng Zheng then called Yu Hui, demanding an explanation from him as she already knew everything. However, Yu Hui asks Zheng Zheng to forget about it as they are no longer classmates, and it's all over. Zheng Zheng was furious that Yu Hui gave up so easily. Whereas in the past, he never tired of helping herself, who is the dumbest student, to enter the science department, graduate from school, and be accepted at the desired university. When Yu Hui hung up the phone, Zheng Zheng sent them pictures of their high school together. Yu Hui couldn't help but cry in frustration looking at the photos. Actually he wanted to meet Zheng Zheng and express his feelings, but he felt it was inappropriate to be side by side with Zheng Zheng who had become successful. After listening to the radio broadcast of a famous singer telling about his high school days, in which the famous singer was a reckless student who Yu Hui once helped when it rained, Zheng Zheng realized that Yu Hui really liked her when they were in high school. Zheng Zheng then messaged Yu Hui to meet her somewhere. Zheng Zheng was frustrated because Yu Hui never showed up. But then, he finally appeared and they shared their feelings for each other, where the two actually fell in love with each other when they were still in high school and still love each other to this day. The film ends by showing Yu Hui pulling Zheng Zheng's arm and carrying her away somewhere. Apparently, they visited the tree they had planted together, where the tree had grown big and bore witness to unforgettable memories. Their wish was finally granted after a long time.